The two words on the sign, raised crosswalk, is not only what you see here, it's also part of what the new city administration believes should help reduce pedestrian injuries and deaths. No. You know what a raised crosswalk is? No. Look closely. You'll see that where the roadway is darker, it's a few inches higher than the rest of the road surface. So in this intersection, that dark asphalt serves as a speed bump. This one is still being finished. It will soon be painted with crosswalk stripes. It's one of 100 of these that will be added every year citywide as part of a larger initiative. We are announcing major action to make our intersection safe. It comes two days after 15-year-old Antonina Zatolowska was run over by a school bus when she was in the crosswalk here. Among the measures included in the new program are the raised crosswalks, so-called Head Start traffic signals, which allow pedestrians to cross before cars get a green light. And there are these, bike corrals, group bike parking at intersections, as well as stronger enforcement of existing traffic laws that will work this way. Drivers and cyclists must fully stop at intersections, even if there are not four-way stop signs. Whenever there's a pedestrian uh, crossing or at the street corner about to cross. Not so much that we're going to have additional offers, officers that are going to be focused on it. Every officer is going to be focused on it. And when they see these infractions, they will be enforcing them. But back to where the raised crosswalk is being put in. It's on Ocean Parkway, one of the city's busiest and more hazardous roadways for pedestrians. The reception is skeptical. People drive like maniacs, yeah. You'll see, you'll see. But Fabiola Mendieta Quapio feels this way. I don't think it, this is enough, but I think that it's progress. Her five-year-old was killed when a car hit him. She's now an advocate for safer streets. We can't just keep saying about reinforcement. We need education. We need to talk to the public.